Yo, 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 what is going on guys? And it's your boy RRB Plays here today bringing you guys yet another overpowered team of the season squad builder. And in today's video, as you guys can probably tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most insane 200k teams right now built around this new release team of the season, Lissandro Martinez. Yes, that's right guys, this card looks absolutely insane and you can actually get this card for free guys. All you have to do is just complete some challenges and you can get this card. It's literally so easy. So I thought, why not build a cheap, affordable, but very, very overpowered squad builder? So like I said, man, I'm going to be building a 200k team around this card, man. The team around them is ridiculous and you guys will destroy your opponents. But this card looks absolutely ridiculous. He definitely is an end game, card, end game card and I really, really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him. But before I go ahead and dive into this squad builder, i got a quick little message for you guys. So let me get straight into it. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder yes that's right guys you heard correctly if you want me to build your own personal squad builder all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps all you guys have to do is simply like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications, alright? And once you've done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram and then DM me and send me that picture of you following those steps. And then once you've proved to me that you've done those things, I will then um, build your squad. It's literally so easy, it's literally so simple, so follow those steps and I'll build your squad. But without further ado, enough of me waffling on um, about, uh, yeah, just enough of me waffling. Let's go ahead and dive straight into the squad builder, baby. Let's Let's get it, let's go. Okay, guys, so as you can see right now on your screens for this insane 200k team, the formation that you guys want to use is indeed the 4334 variation. You guys can also use the 4231 formation, but you'd have to change to that in a game. But with that being said, let's go ahead and waste no more time and just get straight into the squad border, man. So, in the striker position, ladies and gentlemen, we do have an incredible player, man, a beastly player, a man that can shoot with any foot, man. He goes by the name of Hung Min Sonaldo. Honestly, man, Hungman Sonaldo, he's an absolute beast. Oh my days, he's the Asian Ronaldo. Hungman Sonaldo, he's the Asian Ronaldo. He is an absolute beast, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I really, really, really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get this guy, man. Honestly, absolutely beast. So, that's an absolute beast. But as you can see, man, he's got that pace about him. He's got 89 sprint speed and 86 acceleration. He's got 86 finishing, 88 shot power, 90 long shots and 88 attack and positioning. I would say in-game his finishing feels even better than 86 he's got 86 agility as well 87 ball control 88 dribbling and 87 composure to be honest i'm pretty sure that you guys know that hungman sonaldo is very very overpowered in this game regardless so i'm i'm guessing i don't really have to say all this stuff to you because you guys probably know already but as you can see though he does have four star skill moves and a five star weak foot which is absolutely incredible just makes him very very um unpredictable because he can shoot on either foot you don't have to cut in um and shoot on a specific foot but honestly hungman saw man an absolute beast make sure you guys go ahead and get him he will literally just terrorize the opponent's defenses but moving on in towards the left wing spot ladies and gentlemen we go in the left wing position we do have of course man the man himself in form Quincy Promes an absolute beast an absolute beastly player bros honestly I really really do recommend him he is actually a player with five star skill moves, which is just brilliant. Honestly, I think that uh, Quincy promises this inform card, especially. I actually think it's very, very underrated, man. I really, really did enjoy using this card back in the days. I just think that he's so overpowered. He's a meta card. He's got five star skill moves, four star weak foot. He's very, very agile. He's got good dribbling stats, decent finishing, very, very fast. Like, there just, there just isn't anything wrong with this card, to be honest. And he actually just is kind of like the, the perfect winger in a way because he's just very, very overpowered. You know, he's got the pace, he's got the skill, he's got the weak foot, he's got the agility. The ball control, the dribbling, like everything, everything about this Quincy Promise card is just very, very good. It's just top notch, man. So yeah, but make sure you guys go ahead and get this card. He is very, very insane. And I would say his dribbling stats do feel a lot better in game. Like his ball controls just should not be as low as 82 because it, it just definitely is much better in game. His agility even feels higher in game. His dribbling feels higher in game. He just feels like a meta card in game. So that's why I do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up this Quincy uh, Quincy Promise card. It really is insane. But moving on in towards the right wing spot, ladies and 
gentlemen we do have an informed beast of a player in fifa but not in real life man he goes by the name of nicola pepe and uh arsenal fans will be, lo be all over this guy but um anyone else nah nah we, we, we don't like nicola pepe in real life man we don't like him he's a schmuck but anyways in real life i mean in fifa sorry in fifa it's a different story in fifa in my opinion man i really really do like him i think his 85 rated inform card is an absolute beastly card man he's pacey super super agile as you guys can see there 94 agility 84 ball control 89 dribbling and 85 composure that's what i really do like uh, about nicholas pepe in this game man he's, he's very very agile and his dribbling stats are very very good his finishing as well is very good as well he's got 85 finishing and 85 attacker positioning and of course he is very very fast and then you go over here you go over you look at his skill moves man he's got four star skill moves and unfortunately three star weak foot but honestly it's like the only attacker that has below four star weak foot so it's not the worst thing in the world and, he, and plus he is a winger and from a wing position you don't really like tend to use your weaker foot in shooting opportunities that much so it's not the worst thing in the world but overall though as a whole Nicola Pepe is a card I recommend that you guys go ahead and get he is a beastly card but this is the attack completed so far as you guys can see um let's go ahead and move on in towards the midfield Okay guys, so moving on in towards the midfield we go. We're going to start off with this uh, cam spot of course man. In this position we do have an insane man of the match card. He goes by the name of Delhi Ali. Delhi Ali man, very very insane in this game. A very nice cam. I do like him. He's a good creator and he actually does have a very very good shot on him as well. It's going to be this 87 rated card, this man of the match card here. Um, Yeah man, I do like this card a lot. I think it's very very insane. I know he's only got 78 agility but honestly guys, I mean maybe because when I use him he did have a sniper chemistry style but i did i did actually think that um he had this low agility it's kind of like Firmino in this game like Firmino actually has low agility i think he's got the same or 80 i think it is um but yeah you just don't notice it at all um and yeah i just i just don't understand why to be honest like, i don't understand why he's so low because in game it's a different story but nevertheless though he is a very very good card like i said man he's got an amazing shot on him that's what i do like about him um his attacking positioning is very very good he's a creator as always well. passing is good so he's just that kind of cam you know there's, there's kind of like two types of cam there's you you know i guess you could say there's like your your mertens or your insigne where they're super super agile pacey or there's a there's a slightly slower one um still very good technically but have a better shot and better passing and that's what i guess delhi ali is so uh yeah i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him and he will do you guys a fantastic job in the cam position so make sure you guys go ahead and get him but we move boys we keep on moving we keep on moving and we move on in towards a right center mid spot and in this position we do have the manchester city veteran in himself Fernandinho man absolute beast bros in this game an insane box to box midfielder good in defense good in attack and he's just a very very good well-rounded midfielder and that's why I do recommend him to you guys man that's why I do I think he's a very very good midfielder he can pretty much do anything man reliable on both ends of the pitch you just can't go wrong choosing Fernandinho if, I, if you ask me but as you can see um, defend, uh, defensively very very good of course he's got 89 uh, interceptions 87 defensive awareness 86 stand tackle and 80 slide tackle um, his dribbling stats are not the best they're decent like his agility is, is quite bad to be fair but I guess he's a centre mid so it's not like that deep at all um, his ball control dribbling very nice his passing is nice as well and his finishing isn't the worst in the world but yeah again he's a CDM um, and uh, yeah so he's a very very good card just make sure you guys go ahead and get him and when you partner up this Lissandro Martinez card with Fernandinho oh, ho, 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 <laughs> in midfield honestly guys they're just gonna hold it down man they're gonna hold it down but we move anyway so let's move on in towards the defense we go um in towards the right back spot I'm gonna start off in the right back position we do have another Arsenal player man he goes by the name of Hector Bellerin very very pacey man and honestly just a pain to play against so that's why I do recommend you guys use him you're just gonna frustrate your opponents you know there's opponents that just like to abuse pace down the wings and all they do is just free ball down the line and try and outpace your fullback so it's not gonna happen with Bellerin at right back I'm telling you okay no one is gonna be outpacing Bellerin um because yeah man he's an absolute speedster they call him Barry Allen call him the flash he is the fastest man alive but as you can see he's got 90 sprint speed and 94 acceleration he also does have 80 slide tackle 78 standing tackle and 75 defensive awareness not bad defensively will do you guys a very very good job in the right back spot he just does what he needs to do to be honest so yeah Go ahead and get him, man. He will do a fantastic job. But we move on, as I say, man. We keep on moving. In the left back spot, we do have Ajax's finest left back. He goes by the name of Taglia Fico. The only downside of using of using this card, I get straight into it, man. I'm not gonna lie. The only negative is that he's not the fastest. But at the end of the day, if you want to use this Martinez card, you're gonna have to use Taglia Fico. If you guys do have a bit more coins, then you can use his headliners card. But what I'd say to counteract the lack of speed that this man has is to go ahead and just simply slap a shadow on him. If you slap a shadow on him, his pace 
defense will increase drastically so make sure you guys go ahead and do that but other than that defensively he is very very good he's got the stamina um and just yeah man he gets the job done in terms of tackling and things like that the only thing you guys need to in, you guys need to do with this card is just improve that pace and to do that i would say get a shadow card all right or catalyst a shadow or catalyst all right if you don't have enough to get a shadow um then yeah just go ahead and get a catalyst chemistry style all right improving that pace is so important but other than that he is a very very good fullback so make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up but as you can see man we've got the two center backs and the goalkeeper left so let's just dive straight into it we're gonna start off with the right center back spot and you know it's a part of the shit that you guys see a lot probably man but honestly in cheap squad builders having these two at the back it's just undefeated honestly it really just is undefeated man these two together it's just different gravy so we do have my man marquinhos in the right center back spot man very very overpowered honestly i really like him a lot and uh if you guys you know pack something good after watching this video and you want to make improvements in this team you can actually get this guy's road to the final champions league card that card whoa, whoa, that card whoa, different gravy different kettle of fish but anyway we move on as you can see he's got 76 sprint speed and 72 acceleration um so a decent amount of pace on him to be honest for a center back and as you can see man defensively he is incredible he's got 87 slide tackle 87 standing tackle 86 defensive awareness 86 interception 75 strength 80 aggression and 89 jumping he's a beast make sure you guys go ahead and pick him up man i really 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 do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up but as you can see in the left center bucket um position we do have um a lovely little strong link to marquinhos and he goes by the name of presnol kempempe and it is indeed that man of the match card man that card you guys must have seen that so many times now but honestly man i just can't express to you guys how good this card is man it really is a good card as you can see he's got the pace again so we've got two pacey center backs in my opinion i think um i know it's still late game but for a 200k team these two um having these two at centre back man you just can't complain to be honest but um yes 80 sprint speed he's got 80 sp uh, sprint speed and 75 acceleration he also does have 84 slide tackle 84 standing tackle and 81 defensive awareness but i would say his defending stats do feel a lot better like honestly Kempempe is one of those cars that really just feel like a beast man and he's just he's just a tank in game he's also got 86 strength as well but honestly man this card is ridiculous make sure you guys go ahead and pick it up and in the goal goalkeeper position ladies and gentlemen we do have a beast of a man he goes by the name of Lecomte man I actually like this card so much and it is indeed his 82 rated version but like I said in my previous video man it's not all about range it's just about how they perform in game and I choose players that perform well for me so I'm going to choose Lecomte I could easily I don't know go for any French um league one goalkeeper um that's higher rated but no we're going to go for the uh, normal Lecomte because he's an overpowered keeper and he gets a job done it's just as simple as that boys but if you do want to upgrade him you can go ahead and get his info He's got an 84 rated inform and an 86 rated inform. But guys, as you can see, this is the insane 200k hybrid squad builder. Let me know your thoughts of this insane team down below in the comment section, man. Honestly, this team, you will destroy your opponents with this team, man. It is ridiculous. It's different gravy. It's just, it's just beastly, man. It's beastly. So make sure you guys go ahead and get this team. Give it a rating out of 10 as well. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And remember, guys, to follow the steps if you want me to build your own personal squad. But guys, let me know. Um, uh, yeah let me know what you guys think of this team though generally um i want to know what you guys think like i said give it a rating out of 10 and uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the video though don't forget to smash the thumbs up button it really is appreciated and also if you guys are new around here don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications and also don't forget to slap that bell as well because yeah you don't want to miss um when i do upload but enough of me chit chatting man you guys are probably sick of my voice now so i'm gonna end it here peace out baby peace out